Hi it's Sasha, today I'm going to show you my favorite way to make a healthy cereal for breakfast. I decided to make my own alternative because box cereals even marketed as healthy and well balanced are loaded with sugar additives and highly processed oils. If you take a look at this label you know what I'm talking about, there are 7 different types of sugar, so it's definitely not the one I want for my kids. And if I do find a healthy one in the supermarket, I have to pay a small fortune for a box. So by making my own cereal at home I can control the ingredients and also save some money. I start by adding the rolled oats into a large mixing bowl, I want them crunchy, so I'm going to add 2 tablespoons coconut or olive oil and 2 tablespoons maple syrup. Mix it up and spread on a lined baking tray. You can choose how crunchy you want your oats, I suggest you bake for 5 to 10 minutes at 350F or 180C, it's so much better than regular oats. Now to bulk up the recipe and keep the calories in check I need something light and puffy. Most of the time when making it for my kids I use puff rice or puff spell grain, it just gives the best cereal like texture. I know most of the rice is carbs but 1 cup rice puffs weighs just 15 grams so it's not really packed with carbs and calories. But if making it for myself I'm much more likely to add some good old popcorn. Yeah I'm serious, popcorn can be used as an ingredient in your homemade cereal, especially if you prefer the texture to be soft, not just crunchy. And with popcorn it gets soft within seconds. Ok this is the base for my homemade cereal but I'm going to add some extras to make it taste delicious and turn it into a breakfast that whole family will love to eat. First chocolate because everything is better with chocolate and I use the best dark chocolate I have at home that will provide some healthy fats and minerals. Just chop it up in small pieces so you get a little bit of chocolate in every bite. I also add 2 teaspoons cinnamon because we all love cinnamon and for extra sweetness because I use just a bit of maple syrup so far I love to add some dry fruits. Dry fruits are always a great choice for kids to snack on but it's important not to let them eat too many because sometimes can be too sugary. I use prunes which are about 38% sugar but if your kid loves dry cranberries they contain almost double the amount of sugar, 65%. You could add nuts and seeds to this mixture but then it would be more like a granola. I wanted to make this recipe simple without adding a bunch of other ingredients but it's all up to you. We mostly enjoy our healthy cereal with regular cold milk but feel free to use any milk of your choice or sprinkle the cereal over the yogurt or kefir. You love this homemade cereal because it's made with more wholesome ingredients and without all the excess oil and sugar. That has all we need for a satisfying breakfast. It's delicious, has just the right amount of sweetness, it's ready to eat in 15 seconds. So I think this healthy cereal is a recipe that everyone should try. It's so much fun to make and it's friendly on your wallet too. But if you want to have something on the go I suggest you make these oatmeal breakfast bars. They're packed with nutrition and will keep you full and satisfied until lunch. Check out that recipe now. Thank you so much for watching. See you in another video. Stay healthy, stay happy.